Hello viewers, in this series of battle presentation in my YouTube channel Lazy Learners, today is the time of describing the sixth battle. Beforehand, I have already described five battles and in future, there are more going to come. So if you want to know all those battle descriptions and want to remain updated on which battles I am going to describe afterwards, you have to subscribe my channel. So without further ado, let's start the sixth battle, the Battle of Belunia Bulge. The Battle of Belunia Bulge was one of the major and successful military battles of the Bangladesh Liberation Army. The battle was fought between the Pakistan Army and Allied forces on 2nd November and up to 7th November 1971. The prime contributor to this successful battle was 10 East Bengal Regiment which was raised newly from the sector 2 troops. Composition and Disposition of Forces At first, the Pakistani force 15 Baluch Regiment deployed one company each at Belunia, Porshuram, Amjadhat and Saldar Bajar. Battalion headquarters was located at Feni. EPCAF deployed one company each at West of Belunia, Gutuma and Jamwa. Allied Forces Bangladesh Task Force consisted of 10 East Bengal, 1 company of 2 East Bengal and Sector 1 troops. Indian Army had 3 Dogra Regiment, 2 Rajput Regiment, and Divisional Artillery of 23 Mountain Division. The Plan and Task of Allied Forces The plan was to cut the Pakistan troops in the bulge from the north to south along Chandana Salia Gutuma line and force them to surrender. To execute this plan, the assigned task was allotted 10 East Bengal was to infiltrate through the gaps from the western border along the line Chandana Salia Gutuma and dig in overnight. Troops to be deployed facing the enemy from both front and rear. Troops of Sector 1 troops to infiltrate from the eastern border through Gutuma and link up with 10 East Bengal. Seal the northern part of the bulge and trap enemy located in this area. Ensure that no troops from the north escape to the south nor they are reinforced from the south. Indian forces, their task was to attack and clear the remnants if the besieged Pakistani troops would not go for automatic surrender after 3 to 4 days. Now the conduct of the battle. On 7, November, 7 October, detailed reconnaissance and briefing was carried out. One JCO of the reconnaissance party was injured by mine during reconnaissance. On night 2 to 3 November, 10 East Bengal infiltrated through Chandana Salia Gutuma line completed defense facing north and south by 030630 hours at November. At the same time, one Pakistani railway trolley was ambushed. Pakistan forces started heavy firing and tried to break through during night 3 to 4 November but failed. On 4 November, Pakistani forces carried out a massive air strike. One HMG was destroyed. 
Next day also air strike continued and they tried to break through but failed. On night 5 to 6 November, one fighting patrol of 20 persons went for recce of Saldar Bajar and was ambushed. One company of 10 East Bengal launched attack and captured Saldar Bajar by first light 6 November. By afternoon, one company from two Rajput reinforced the position at Saldar Bajar. On night 6 to 7 November, three Dogra regiment launched attack on Belunia and Porshuram with artillery support and captured it by first light 7 November 1971. One officer and 42 other ranks of Pakistani forces surrendered. And that is how the Battle of Bellunia Bulge ended. Now from this battle, what we learn? As you can see, the tactics involved in the defense of the operation of Bangladesh forces was not a very descriptive one. Therefore, there are number of things to learn, like need for detailed reconnaissance at all level. A detailed reconnaissance up to minimum level of a section helps in achieving success, which was done in this battle. Now, the inclement weather helps in achieving surprise by infiltration. When the 10 East Bengal troops infiltrated on that time, the weather was very difficult to survive and this helped Mukti Bahini or 10 East Bengal troops to achieve surprise. Like this, need for reserve at all times, need for mutual support and petrol to cover the gaps popular support, need for bold and imaginative planning and effect of moonlight are the lessons learned from this battle. Now what all are the things describes by these points deliberately you can learn it from this website www.militarybattles.tk If you want to get the word document or description of this battle, you can visit the second link. Now if you want to learn the other battles descriptions, you can visit the third link. Thank you gentlemen. If you like my video or if you like my channel, you can subscribe. Again, if you want to get the information of the next upload you can also subscribe to get the notifications thank you gentlemen allah peace